So the first thing that you'll notice is that we've created a new target fuel map. And the reason for that is a couple. First of all, this one has more resolution than the stock one, which is nice. But also, uh, you can't use the stock uh, target air fuel ratio or commanded equivalence ratio, whatever they call it, uh, in race ROM. You can't use that as an input. So if you look here, there's no target AFR, commanded AFR, or anything like that. Uh, so we have to create a custom map for it, and then that allows us to, in the other map here where we need it as our X input, we can use the result of that map. So if you actually look at the map, it is pretty simple. It's just load and RPM, and of course there's AFR targets. Because this is our new fuel map, we want the activation definition to be that it's always active. Uh, with no activation delay, no thresholds. Uh, in my case, it's enabled in map modes 1 and 2 uh, for pump gas. So I have another one that's 3 and 4 for E85. Uh, the integral in this case doesn't matter. The output definition <clears throat> is to replace the target AFR channel with the maps output. Uh, the X input is engine load, and the Y input is engine speed. Now we use the output of that map not only to set the target AFR, but also as an input for this map, custom map J. Uh, you can see here that the Y channel is a wideband O2 sensor that's wired into pin C20 on the ECU. It's an Innovate LC1, and there was a separate screencast that showed you how to set that up. Uh, the X input is the map value from map G, so this is effectively the commanded AFR. So if we go here, you can see that the output is total fuel quantity, multiply, multiply the channel by the map output, and the X input is the custom map G result or target AFR, and Y input is custom map M result or the Innovate uh, wideband sensor. In here, we've just gone for each cell and calculated a correction. So for here, for instance, if the target AFR was 12, and our actual AFR was 11.4 to 1, we'd multiply total fuel, uh, in that case, by 0 0.95. The activation for the correction map is going to be to only uh, be active uh, above a threshold. And in this case, the threshold is going to be on the mass airflow. Uh, there's going to be no delay, and the threshold is going to be 61 grams per second on the way up and 60 on the way down. And that will uh, ensure that this is only ever active when the factory closed loop system is not. So what that gives you is a really simple proportional closed loop fuel control system. Uh, I went ahead and messed up my math curve in the open loop portion for science uh, just to kind of show you how this works. I made two runs, one with the system turned off and one with it on. Uh, you can see here in the run with the system off Custom map J's interim value, which its processed value is nothing because it's not active. Uh, throttle position is wide open, and you can see here uh, the target AFR. It's about 11.3, and it goes down to 11.2. <clears throat> if we look at the wideband output, we're looking at anywhere from 12.09, 11.8, 11.6, about 11.6, again, you know, so it's about four to five tenths of an AFR point lean and then it kind of tapers down here towards the very top of the range. Now looking at the run with the system enabled you can see again the custom map G is asking for about 11.22 to 1, 11.3, no 11.2 somewhere in there. Throttle position is wide open. Here you can see custom map J's interim value is actually doing something because the map is open is running and then if you look at the wideband output you can see that it's much more reasonable. It's about 11.4 there, 11.56, and it kind of will trim itself in to where there it's the target's 11.23, and we're hitting 11.27. Uh, if we get over to here, you look at the target's 11.3, we're hitting 11.33, 11.37, 11.3. So you can see it's not exactly perfect, like there on the target dropped. It's pretty close. I mean, it's a hundredth of an AFR point off, and it's, you know, plus or minus a tenth of an AFR point at worst. So it's not perfect, but it does certainly work.